Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create, how to have multiple members handling your website. So suppose you have a website, one of my websites that I own. I'm going to show you how you can create people with multiple roles with people that can be administrators, editors, authors, contributors, or simply subscribers. You will need to connect on your, on the back end of your website with WordPress. Okay, I don't know other platform like Wix or whatever. I don't know. This is WordPress. You come here on the users and then you click here on the add new. Now you can say send the new user an email about the account. Of course, that probably you want to do that because you want the user to know that they have an account with your website. Now here is where you choose the role of the person that is going to be a collaborator on your website. Like I said, like I am going to start reaching out to people in third world countries that I know have knowledge in some areas that I blog on and I'm going to ask them for a partnership where they can come onto my website and be editors and start editing blog posts because I don't have time to write blog posts every single day. Now I'm going to put them as an editor on my website, okay, or an author. That way they can still write blog posts, but they will not have access to some functionalities of my website. Okay, this is very important. So from the bottom up, this is from the most important to the least important. The subscribers is just a subscriber. Like they don't they don't have access to any functionality of your website than the one you allow them. Contributors, I believe he's writing blog posts, author. I think it's I'm going to say add new user. Now here, when they will connect, the only thing that they will need to do is they do they will just need to put their username that you created and they will need to put their password and then you can click on remember me and then you click on login. So sometime if it does that, then make sure you go back and edit again because the password probably that you put was not generated. So make sure you go back and you click on edit again. You edit that profile and then you scroll down on the password and you click here on generate password. Okay. And then you put back as you can see, you can even add more details about the user, such as their profile picture or the biographical info. So let's say I go back to this page. It will log in on the dashboard of your website. Okay, as you can see, this is the dashboard of your website. Since I put them as an administrator, you see they have, they still have all the details that I put on my website. Now, if I put them as a contributor or an author, they will only have a few functionality. They will probably not have plugin appearance. They will probably only have post where they can only do what they can. They can only do is just to blog, to write blog posts as I want them to. Okay, this is how you have partners on your blog working with you without having to really overwhelm yourself with so many aspects of your business or your website. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe. Thank you. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Peace.